Hi, I'm Bill Fakui with Page One Solutions, and I want to welcome you to another one of our updates in our series of helping you market better on the uh, internet. Uh, today, I just wanted to kind of take a step back and what we used to do in terms of websites and kind of how that's really changed and how we can kind of move to the next stage of making sure that our websites are more productive. Before, when we you know built our websites at the beginning, we built it mainly because we saw everybody else doing it. I saw competitors having a website uh, and, and this concept of, well, if you don't have a website, you're not in business. Uh, there was also the sense of uh, that I needed something for, at least for an online brochure, just to have information out there so I can direct people and hopefully they'll find some good uh, information that would be helpful for them. Uh, today that's evolved. Today, the dependency of a practice on their website is significantly more on helping grow their business. Their website has to play a much more active role and proactive role in enhancing the, the profitability and the growth of a, of a business. Uh, so what that means is we're going to focus on how can we make your website more productive uh, without necessarily just focusing in on getting more traffic to your site. It's not about always about spending more money on SEO or pay-per-click advertising and driving more people to your website that's going to get you more business. A large part of it is the conversion, the number of people that are visiting our site that are actually turning into business. It's a conversion issue in some cases more than it is a traffic issue. So today that means we're going to be focusing in on lead generation and there is a process that you go through, uh, a really a four-step process that we have to understand those stages in order for us to understand how we can tackle each one of them and make sure that our website marketing strategies are more effective. Uh, the first stage of lead generation is really the promotion, the offer, the, the thing that's going to get their attention uh, and start moving them to take, take action. The second stage of lead generation is, is it's really going to be in the call to action. Graphically or uh, from a layout perspective, perspective, what are we doing in terms of that promotion on the page so that we can convert them, get their attention so that they can, we can leverage this offer now. Uh, the third thing uh, in lead generation is going to be your landing page or your promotion page. You've got to have a separate place for these um, uh, visitors to come to to help separate your offer from everything else that's on your website, all the other things that can distract them. Focusing in on the offer on, a, on its own landing page or promotion page is a huge advantage. The last and fourth element in lead generation is it's as simple as the form. Uh, how people respond to your form, what elements or, or fields you have in there, but also how it's designed and what text is associated with those forms will make a big difference. Uh, and because this is such a, a broad topic, uh, we're going to do a couple of videos and the next following updates are going to talk about the other phases, but today we're going to focus on just the promotion, the offer. How can we think through an offer that's going to be more effective? So I'm going to start with the consumer. At the end of the day, your promotion should be driven, your offer should be driven by the consumer and you really have to think through who is it that's visiting my site, when are they visiting, what state of mind they're in because going out and just doing the same free consultation or free this or, or, or download this, whatever you've been doing in the past, you have to really take a step back and really think through what is an offer based on the really the demographic and the psychographics of the people that are visiting my site those calls to action and those offers are going to be much more effective. So first of all, for example, even if I'm a, a, an attorney, say for example I'm a, I've got an attorney website and I do everything from divorce, bankruptcy, um, you know, personal injury, criminal, all of those things, all of those people, different types of people that are going to be coming to my site are in a different state of mind and they're probably also visiting my site at different days of the week and different times of the day or night. Okay, So kind of thinking through where that traffic is and your Google Analytics will help you determine who's coming to your site and when, what days. Now you can start thinking through 
if I've got a lot of traffic coming to my, say for example, my divorce page, that's a different person and they're in a different psychological state than a, the, the person that visits my site that's, that's a criminal prospect or a personal injury prospect. There's a different state of mind in terms of their sense of urgency, a sense of privacy or, or information, need for information, or I've got to take action, I can't wait. Okay, so kind of thinking through those types of things and the psychographics of the audience is going to help you look at offers differently. And some of the things you'll want to incorporate into your offers, there's maybe, I'll just touch on maybe four, there's a lot of them, but one of them is the concept of scarcity. Your offer should be limited. If it's open-ended, unending, and you've got unlimited amounts of it, uh, there's really no sense of urgency to, to take action with your offer. So kind of think through if, if this offer is only available for a limited time or if there's a limited quantity, if you have a product. Um, make sure that you, you put this offer out there for a period of time. Um, another thing you'll want to do in terms of your, uh, your offers is, is really the proof in numbers. The consumers are really kind of a, uh, they, they, they're a flock mentality basically. They will actually go with the flow and they'll want to do things that it's common and normal for other people to do. Okay, So your offer should also use numbers in terms of uh, this, this site or this page been visited so much that these, you know, X number of these have been sold or this has been downloaded X number of times, um, that it's a real resource and that a lot of people are doing it. You'll want them to feel like, yeah, I need to be able to do this too. Um, Maybe a third thing you'll want to do is also look into the um, making sure that your offers really don't depend on industry jargon in order for them to really connect with or uh, make, make it so that they, they get it and that they want it. Uh, a good example would be I've got a number of, say for example, cosmetic dentists who really want to promote their before and after gallery. Their, their smiles and the people that, that they've actually done dentistry work on and some of these dentists do fabulous work. Um, but within the navigation or within the calls to action on the page, you know, so many times I go in there and I see them promoting their before and after gallery like transitioning lives or changing lives or you know something very esoteric. Uh, the average visitor that comes to your site you may get that kind of call to action, but your consumers don't. They don't understand what's behind that call to action and what's going to happen when I click on that button. Really, it's, it's before and afters. Try and think through how your patients or your clients talk and what they use in order when they're searching and make sure that your promotion really connects with them immediately so they don't have to really think about it. Um, so those are some things that we really want to focus on in your offer, but I think the most important thing is, is really thinking through the consumers and, and when they're coming to certain pages or uh, different sections of your website or on your homepage, what is it that the vast majority of people that are going to view that, that call to action or that offer, what connects with them, understanding their, their emotional state and their motivations. Okay you will find that you will have more compelling, uh, stronger offers. Uh, and then go out on the web and look at other offers that are out there because you're not the only one doing this. Uh, try not marketing in a vacuum, look at other, uh, and it doesn't even have to be industry specific. You know, I've got a, a client where we're actually recommending that he, he's a plastic surgeon, but he needs to team up with a cosmetic dentist. And maybe the offer is, you know, for every facial procedure that you do, we have a high quality uh, cosmetic dentist that we refer you for teeth whitening and that's free. Um, so that would be kind of a creative, you know, kind of offer that's a little bit different than what you would see out there for most plastic surgeons. So kind of think through it, be a little creative, have fun with it. Uh, so look for another, you know, video uh, update next week uh, where we're actually going to be referring to and talking about the calls to action and how we're going to be promoting that call to action on your site. So where it's placed, you know, those types of things, the coloring, uh, what are we doing for that, um, you know, call to action to make sure that this great offer that we spent all this time creating and thinking through that we're actually going to get people uh, getting to it and, and taking some action. So 
give us a call if you have any questions um, or if you'd like if there's other topics that you'd like for us to cover in a future you know update I'm always open to those type of ideas we usually uh, we actually get the best ideas from people that that send us questions and uh, you know want specific information and we'll be happy to help you so we'll look forward to you next week